So it's Google I.O. week, the first beta for Android 16 has landed straight out of I.O. 2025 and it's offering an early look at some pretty big visual changes. So let me show you how Android 16 is going to look like. One of the most noticeable changes in this update is the new design language Google's rolling out. They are calling it Material 3 Expressive, where Material you lean into personalization, this one feels more about the vibe. It's trying to bring some personality back into the interface. You'll notice things like bolder visuals, more fluid animations, and a bit of background blur creeping into places like quick settings and the app drawer. Even small things like swiping away a notification now comes with a soft bounce, the kind of detail that doesn't scream for attention, but makes it a little more responsive. Quick settings gets one of its biggest changes yet. Tiles are now resizable, so no more hunting for Wi-Fi or Bluetooth toggle. Internet and Bluetooth are now one tap toggles and the tile editor is finally intuitive. The panel now has a glassy blurred background, which not only looks cleaner, but also helps foreground show what matters. Status bar icons are now thicker, cleaner and bolder. Now let's talk about the lock screen because it's gotten a subtle but meaningful upgrade. Clock styles now have their own dedicated menu complete with little previews that actually make it easier to pick one you like. There's a color slider too, so you can tweak the look without digging through endless settings. Shortcuts are no longer hidden in a swipey carousel. They've been moved into a simple grid, which just makes more sense. You can see all your options side by side and assign them to the left or the right corner with a couple of taps. The recent screen has finally been cleaned up, especially on large devices like foldables and tablets. You now get a neat, evenly spaced grid and those app-specific options that used to be hidden away in a tiny icon, they've moved to a pill-shaped button right below the preview. It's more obvious, more accessible and frankly, long overdue. The volume panels have been given a bit of cleanup. It's dropped the overly rounded look for something sleeker and more straightforward, which is just easier on the eyes. There's also built in support for audio sharing now, which means you can hook up multiple audio devices at once. Handy if you're watching something with a friend or just want music playing on a few speakers at the same time. Think of it as a party mode minus the hassle. The wallpaper and style section finally feels like it caught up with the times. One of the first things you'll spot is the updated home screen layout option. Gone are the old 5x5 or 4x6 labels and it's just now small, medium, large and XL. Way easier to understand and it's really about how tightly or loosely you want your icons spaced. And yes, for pixel users, the at the glance widget is still there, but it's smaller now which frees up some room on your home screen. Notifications on Android 16 are even better now. There's now a big clear all button right in the middle flanked by shortcuts for notification history and settings. No more digging through menus to tweak things. You also get more control over how notifications appear on the lock screen. Switch between a compact view that shows just the essentials or a full list if you want more context at a glance. And speaking of glanceable info, Google's added something called live updates. So if you've ordered food or booked a cab, you'll see real-time progress right in your notifications. No need to open the app, it just shows up in real time. Even the settings app had a bit of a makeover and honestly, it works. Each section now has its own colored coded icon and it's still within that familiar pastel range, but the splash of colors makes it easier to spot what you're looking for. Nothing major has changed in terms of features, but visually it now fits better with the rest of the Android's updated look. It just feels more put together. So what's the bigger picture here? Android 16 isn't just another routine update, it's Google laying the foundation for a more expressive, more cohesive Android experience. It's still early, this is just beta 1, but you can already see where things are headed. The design feels more personal, more fluid, and just better thought through. Material 3 Expressive isn't everywhere yet. Apps like Gmail and Photos haven't caught up, but the pieces are falling into place. And if the rest of the Android 16 follows this lead, 
we might be looking at one of the most refined user focused version of Android in a long time. That's it for now. Let me know in the comments what you think about the new design. Is it fresh or just too much flair? If you're trying the Android 16 beta, I would love to hear what's working or what's still buggy. And don't forget to hit that like button if it helped you stay in the loop. We have a lot of updates on Google I.O. So visit digit.in and stay tuned for more updates. Thanks for watching.